All right, so we got ourselves a hot fix this morning and I've got some patch notes for you. So just like last season where we had Mari reading us the patch notes, now we have JB Chimpansky. So he says this, loopers, like I repeated in my first letter to you, we need all the help we can get to overcome the cubes. You already joined the global war effort by funding turret stations, but it's gonna take more than just these to be victorious. Luckily, your main ape, JB, has something else up his sleeve. And then it says, choose what's produced in the Fortnite war effort. He says, I've dug up schematics for new powerful tools and some old favorites to strengthen your arsenal. Only problem is I don't have the production funds. This is where you come in. Donation boards are set up at POIs for you to chimp in bars towards which item you want to see as future loot. First item to hit 100% funded is immediately unlocked and ready for use. Our first face off is against two masters of mobility. Lob away and bounce back with the shockwave launcher or take to the skies with the rift to go. New head to head campaigns will kick off as our fight against the cubes continues. So save up your bars and help decide the items my crew provides. Then he says, this isn't all I wanted to discuss though. And the next section is armored walls strengthen your structures. War means it's time to reinforce, which is why I've bolted together the armored wall. Give any building piece a whole bunch more HP by putting this barrier on it. You can also build pieces with armored walls automatically attached. No matter how you go about it, it'll be a lot tougher for the enemy to reach you if you surround yourself with them. The armored wall is technically considered to be a trap, probably because it's a time sink to try to break one. Starting at 9 a.m. Eastern, I'm placing these fortified fixtures in supply drops and scattering them on the ground. Pick some up for extra defense for when you're outside the sideways, of course. So as you can see, the Shockwave Launcher and the rift to go have been accidentally released into the game right now. So they should not be here yet. We're supposed to vote on them, but clear as day, they're in the game. And lastly, it says Fortnite Battle Royale's fourth birthday. Just because the island's under attack doesn't mean we can't celebrate a little. The bus driver's been dropping people from that battle bus for almost four years now, which is a good reason for a party, I think. And hey, what if I told you the party could help our cause? From September 24th at 9 a.m. Eastern to September 28th at 2 a.m. Eastern, eat birthday cakes for health and shield and throw birthday presents, the good kind of cube, to free their loot. The presents won't be the only gift at the party. For completing birthday quests, you can unlock the cake-based For Me Back Bling, Cake on a Stick Hoopla Hammer Pickaxe, and Cupcake Four Score Emoticon. Like the birthday cakes and presents, these quests will be live from September 24th at 9 a.m. till September 28th at 2 a.m. So September 24th is this Friday. So what an awesome hotfix. They accidentally released the Shockwave Launcher as well as the Rift to Go. I'm sure these will be vaulted again soon because the whole point is to fund whichever one you want and vote to make one of the items appear in game, not two. Then we've got a new armored wall trap. That sounds amazing. Birthday quest with free rewards as well as the cake in game and the new supply drop presents. I love it. So an all around amazing hotfix. And I think that should cover everything. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.